Welcome back viewers for another episode of Aliens vs Rarities. We're here today for Operation Cold Gift. This is more landing in Germany. And not much to say about the map, not much to say about the mission. Let's get down there and see how it goes. Okay, we're here and we haven't actually been on this map in a while. Last time we were on this map, it was a trap. So let's hope it's not a trap this time. If it is, well, hopefully we can find out before we actually hit the main bulk of their force and prepare for it accordingly. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's talk about the plan and we can introduce the squad. I think the plan for now is simply move towards the right here and chuck a few scans, use a few motion scans and the like, find what's out there and then we can move forward properly and yeah, if we find Mal, we might go forward, it completely depends on whether or not it's a trap. Anyway, let's, like I said, let's, let's introduce the squad. Umbok, the gunner, welcome. Uh, Tokyo Twin, the uh, Pathfinder. Ricky DeKaios, the infantry. Arbiter, the rocketeer. Leistamonian, the sniper. Rainbow, the engineer. Archu, the scout. Durand, the medic. And that's it. There's a lot of tech sergeants in the squad. I do have to watch out. Um, I in the last minute I decided to choose Umbok over Edon, which means I have a gunnery sergeant. I mean I have a tech sergeant instead of a gunnery sergeant. Whether or not that's a bad choice, we will see. Let's move you out here first. Aye, aye, Commander. Good. No part of first move. That's always good to hear. And let's actually dash up to here. It should be a very good scouting position. Good to go. Okay, so far so quiet, which is always nice. You don't want too much drama, I'm rolling. especially before you've even moved anywhere. Sure the worst is we have contact literally Shit. upon contact uh, upon upon uh, okay. upon landing. That's the worst because you literally have no time to prepare. It is bad. Okay, let's take it slowly for now until we get more intel. Yeah, let's take it slowly. Uh, city. Uh, I don't know, steady. Okay, what's out there? Root hogs. Okay, I don't think it's a trap. Preliminary analysis, this is not a trap. Let's move it here. That's affirmative. Okay, you have two scans, and I believe my engineer has four scans, so let's chuck a few scans out there. There's Mount as well, I want to go this way if I can. Let's chuck a scan right here. Secure the flanks. Top priority. Okay, flank Sage is mailed, and no enemies. So let's move the rest of the squad this way too. So let's dash you over here. Rock is not the world's fastest gunner. I forgive her, of course. She makes up for it in other ways. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Let's uh, move you here. And to be honest, right now, I'm actually a little bit distracted. Why? Because I just recorded a previous uh, episode just before this one, and. If you remember yesterday's episode, I'm sure you can imagine why I'm a little bit distracted. That huge battleship flying around USA. What's out there? Mute hearts. Straight ahead. Closer to me than the command pod is. That means they can still be close. Sort of. You're just a little bit too slow, aren't you? I don't really want to move you this way. Why? Because I move you this way, it's bring you too close to the UFO, so let's move you this way instead. Aye, aye. We'll use engineer, yes inside. I know, I know. We'll use you to move Moving. you here and we'll track a scan towards the UFO where we heard that sound. Which is this way I believe. I want to see what kind of aliens there are. And there should at least be one other part of this map. Incoming signal from battle scanner. Oh my... God, talk about some huge pods. 
Okay, we have the Mutong Congress here. <laughs> this is like the Mutong Envoy coming here to, what was it, Germany? <laughs> to discuss very important business. In fact, what it actually looks like to me is like two important Mutong families. One coming out of the UFO, led by Berserker, and one over here, led by this big guy in the middle, and just having a discussion. And this family here has two little floaters, like bodyguards or something. <laughs> Wow, okay, those are two very big parts. Nice to know now. Let's get ready for potential contact soon. Jesus, those are huge parts. Umbok, I need you to be useful. Let's move you to full cover. Uh, you need to move someone to chuck a rocket. Chuck a rocket, yes. Literally, just throw it. You're the world's strongest rocketeer by throwing your rocket. Okay. You can stay on the hill, this should be a good place to go. You come over here and be useful. Okay. Uh, I need to find where the command pod is, of course. And the door's right there. Okay. Steady. Um, curi curiosity. No. Okay, Archu, you just stay there for now. Um, you just literally stay there for now. Um, yeah, just stay there. Don't do anything. Don't move. Okay, this part's moving away. This part is standing still. Cool. The mount is ours. Roger, Dodger. The mount is ours. We need to check the nurse scan to my left. So, that's your job. Moving to position. We need to find out what else is out here. If there's more pods or not. If this actually is a trap, I need to be prepared. But I suspect these are the only two parts of the map beyond the command group. Because, how do you tell a, a normal mission from a trap? Simple. You take any pod, okay, so see this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. See? And every other pod are gonna have similar number. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you multiply by how many pods you hear out there and how long the alien turn is. The longer the alien turn is, the more you should suspect there's more pods out there than you think. And of course, if you hear, let's say, four sounds, that means there's probably four pods out there. Yeah, so if it's 4 times 6, you can bet your ass it's a trap. Heading there now. Luckily, this does, not, this does not sound like a trap. Which is good, I don't like traps. They are right. nasty. <laughs> they are not for the faint-hearted. Why can't you be useful, Ricky? Okay, in that case, Duran, I'm gonna dash you up, okay? I'm gonna dash you up. Yes, cool. So Ricky can take the corner. Let's be a tiny bit closer. Where's my gunner? Over there, cool. You can take this tree, lace the monian, let's move you. Why is that a dash? Why can't you just jump on the rocks or something? Why can't you be useful? I know, I'm just whinging right now. Whinging like a kid. You move here. Stay a rocket. Watch, steady that. And. Yeah, okay, this part is moving away, so we'll probably try to whack this part without this part even noticing. Good. Unless this part moves, this part is not moving, okay. Let's grab his mount. Oh, we have the mount. We have the mount. We have the mount. We have mount. Let's move you here. If it activates, bad luck. Cool, it didn't activate. The truck is... Why truck scans when I can just use this, right? Why truck scans when I have this camera scout simply dash up and use concealment? Stepping off. In fact, given that logic, let's actually move our people slightly closer. Okay, you can't get any closer. You are useless. That's affirmative. I know, I'm kind of being very, very, I don't know, On my way. whingy today. <laughs> Okay, who are you? Umbok, you're stuck there. Okay, you're stuck there, so Ricky, you move you up here. You, you're stuck here. Can you fire rockets rocket opening? Yeah, no. Okay, well, in that case, let's move you. Too bad that's not covered towards that side, which is a shame. A real shame. Umbok, I'm gonna move you. Ooh, that could activate. Okay. The net, the net. I'm gonna actually move you back. Yes, you do that. So dash Umbok here. Okay. Ricky will move one over. No, Ricky will stay there. 
I'm trying to move out. You will stay there. Cool. See a rocket. Well, chuck a rocket at them. That'll be our opening move. We are ready. This part's completely stationary and they're about to get hit. Hard. Oh yeah. I like rockets. They are fun. Do it. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Come towards me. Oh my god, this berserker is big. <laughs> what have I got myself into? Okay, what next? Jesus, that berserker is big. What do they feed these things? How big are you? You, <laughs> you are literally a behemoth. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, we definitely want to cam you. Guaranteed. Let's cam you. Yes, let's cam you. That sounds like a great plan. Good. Next. Can they actually see much of uh, my troops? I too can see a lot, but beyond that, can they actually see my troops? Because if they can't, what I should do is simply let them come towards me. I don't have to go towards them. There's no reason for me to. There's no reason for me to. I can actually mine. I can mine there, blow the rocks as a, uh, as a result. Okay, so I can take a shot at this guy first, so can somebody please hollow him? Where is my gunner? Ubok. Uh, okay, you can see those two, great. Take a shot at him. That's a miss. Before I go further, what I might actually do is... I really don't want to smoke up first, because if I smoke up, he's going to move into my range. So instead... Here's my... Ooh, it's actually not going to work, is it? I have to mine first if I want this to work. What can my sniper see? This sales too. Okay, cool. As much as I want to smoke up to get dead smoke, not dead smoke, uh, combat drugs, I, at the same time I don't really want to. Okay, infantry, what can you see? You can see... Uh, cool, take a shot. Oh my god, Ricky! Are you for real? Not the time! Okay, that's a decent hit. He is shredded. Okay, Ricky. Good, okay. No problem. No problem. I declare this to be no problem at all. No problems at all. No problems. We have no problems here. In fact, Archie, you're not gonna shoot because that'd be silly. You are not gonna shoot. You're gonna shoot him. Kill him. Come on, Mbok. Jesus, what's wrong with you people? Okay, who's left? Just. Okay, I could use Tokyo. But I sort of want to mine. I don't know. Okay, screw the mine, just kill him. Just kill this guy. Are you serious? Okay. Sorry, one second. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, friends are so bothersome sometimes, aren't they? Okay, Archie, you're not gonna stay there and shoot. That's just asking to die. And then again, then again, if I smoke you up, you're probably fine. But still, he needs to die. Who needs smoke? Rocket needs smoke, so everyone at the front needs smoke. How big is my smoke radius? Not big enough. Okay, it's possibly big enough. Let's try the smoke first and see who it covers. Going out. Okay, does it cover both Ricky and Umbok? That's my question. Umbok is not in smoke. Ricky is in smoke. Okay, so... We can do boxy. A lot. Let's try to be safe, okay? Let's try to be safe. Smoke out. Let's try to be safe. We brought smoke grenades along. Let's try using it. Cool. Okay, which means, Archie, I'm going to... Uh, you can see so much. I need him to move forward, that's the thing. So, how about you? Move here. That's affirmative. Yes, I know. Reveal yourself. Cool. And shoot Mr. Berserker. And don't you dare miss as well. Good. 
I would be so freaking pissed if you missed as well. Okay, let's Monian. They are out of your range, so you should be fine. So just take a shot at this guy. And don't you dare miss. Good. Competent troops are so hard to find these days. Okay, I can't blame them too much. But still. Just what, 2 9% and an 80% plus. Oh, hi. Okay, Blood Core. We interrupt the rambling to bring you dire news. Floaters are charging into Ricky's Overwatch. And dying a horrible death. Okay, good. Combat Rush, I could have used that last turn. You are launching to where? Really? Oh, you're overwatching. Okay. Well, can I move one tile here without being overwatched? I honestly don't know. Uh, how can I deal with you without having to... Tr Do you have covering fire? You don't have covering fire. Just kill him. That works. I know I can move one tile uh, straight, but I'm not too sure how the diagonal works work. So, for safety's sake, let's not... Let's not... Provoke it. Okay, we can you move up to to use that. We can possibly move up to where Rainbow is, which means Rainbow can move to a side. I'm on the move. So you can move up. I'm going. And you can try to use Psychonetic Strike. Blob is cover. You have your mind. Do it. Good. It's like magic. It was there a second ago, and now it's gone. And now you're dead. I know, magic. That's all I can say. How, one muton left. I don't know where he is, we'll find out soon enough. Ricky, Ricky, here. Ricky will probably kill him. It's fine. Ricky. Uh, Rainbow, stay there. See a rocket, reload. Here he comes. Nope, it's another pod. Another pod is coming towards us. Let's get ready. That's a very big muton, by the way. And hi, how you doing? Ooh, very nice hit from Rainbow. And you are pretty much dead. Yep. Dead. Okay, let's try to get this ambush going. So, Ricky. They are coming towards us. Let's move up here. I would like to try to scan out there first. So, not from Archu. How about from Rainbow instead? I can move up here safely. I'm on it, That's what I do know. I want to see. I want to see what's inside this UFO. Namely, where are the outsiders? And also, I want to see these guys coming, for real. That'd be very handy too. Big Brother is online. Outsiders in that back corner. Cool. Cool. Good to know. Very good to know. Arbiter, you just be ready. Ricky. They are about patrolling to us. Just get ready. Just get ready. You can hide yourself in this little corner here. Lacedemonian. Let's move you up to here. I'm pretty sure there's no more pods out there. Pretty sure. And there's no more mount out, out there either, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know, that's simply the way it works. Simply how the, the world works around here. Aren't you? Be useful. Dash up here. Okay. Bit forward, I know, but it should be fine. And Tokyo, just get as close as possible. Out. Ideally, you can move up and flame something. That'd be fun. In fact, instead of overwatching, what we can do is oh, there's nothing to actually. Okay, how about this? We mine this this uh, boulder here because we'd like to take cover right here. So let's mine this boulder. That could be fun. Deploying mine. That could be very fun. Stay a rocket. Uh, Durand, let's move you up. I'll take care of it. Good. See there you do. Good. Steady. Overwatch. Bring it on, mutons. Come on, Umbok. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. And you're dead. Bye. Oh, they are smart. They didn't take the boulder. 
Oh, that's a shame. That's a very big mutal I have to deal with. Is there any way I can deal with them? Maybe this? Maybe? Worth a shot. Yeah, I don't know. That was kind of pathetic, if you ask me. Uh, your thing is still on cooldown, and I don't think grenade's gonna help me here. Who can see that far forward guy? You certainly can't. You certainly can't. In fact, I might should retreat you. I know I dash you all the way up here, but alternatively, I can actually send you on a one-man journey, but it's not gonna help me. Not really. I can move up here, but it's gonna get you killed. I think what I want them to do is simply dash up to me. Ooh, you are so close to them actually. Lacedaemonia, I might actually retreat you. I might just retreat you. I need this guy dead. This is probably not gonna blow up his cover. I can safely move up though, that's a thing. I can also move up here, possibly flame them all. Will it kill them though? It's a real question. I think the answer's gonna be a no, it won't actually kill them. In fact, if I move up here, I'm gonna activate the outsiders. That's stupid. What am I thinking? Clearly I'm not thinking. Okay. 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 Who do you have flanked? Outsider. Okay, that's not very handy. Not that useful to be honest. I might retreat you. Retreat you. Uh, say to here. They have the good ground here. They have the indestructible UFO wars. I can't destroy that. I don't know why. I don't know how that works, but I simply can't destroy it. So instead, what I might do is hide you where Rainbow is. Rainbow can retreat. Uh, Umbok can retreat. I'm gonna hide you over here. Okay. Ricky. And you. Okay. So you. You're gonna find some full cover like this. No, you won't actually. In fact, you're gonna hide. Ricky is gonna to let's smoke up. Let's smoke up first. Smoke up like this. Cool. Okay, you're gonna Overwatch. You can see her. Take a shot. Yeah, it's fine. Unfortunate, but fine. Okay, Ricky is gonna take a shot. Yeah, that's good. And Overwatch. You are going to Overwatch and Tokyo Twin. If you go to this boulder, I can mine that boulder too. Okay. And you, you are fortunately stuck there, so I'm going to retreat you. There's no point keeping you here. So let's actually retreat you all the way back to where. Let's retreat you all the way back to here. You're not doing any good there. To be perfectly honest, you're not really helping out. Okay. Hello. Can't see you. Blood calling. Okay. Hopefully these mutons are dumb enough to recharge me. No, they're overwatching. Okay, I don't know what you think you're doing. What the hell are they doing? Did they just spend a whole turn black calling each other? Because if that's the case, seriously, what the hell? Okay, well, lock and load, we'll simply wait for them. It's hard to be aggressive when they don't want to be aggressive and they're just hunkering inside a UFO. I can prepare another rocket, but that's pretty much all I can do. Jesus, these guys are cowards. Obviously I can't talk, I'm a coward too. Uh, you can move up here. And just, I don't know, just wait. Hi, you're gonna die to Ricky. Yeah, you're probably gonna die to Ricky. Okay. <laughs> if you don't have a Ricky, you're gonna die to the rock, uh, the mine. Luckily for you, Ricky granted you a slightly less messy death. <laughs> okay, nice and easy. Lock and load. 
How many is left? Three mutons. We'll simply wait them out. We don't even need cover for this because I mean not cover, uh, we don't need smoke for this. We'll be fine. Although I do kinda wanna hunker you. I don't trust you. I don't trust you either. Lock his load and steady. Cool. Come on, mutants, come to me. Okay, contestant number two. Question, do you die to Ricky first or am I? You die to Ricky first. Cool. And hi. And hello. You're probably gonna die to Ricky as well. Ooh, you survived. Dunno if that's good luck or bad luck. Let's find out. Yeah, I say it's probably bad luck. That's the last two mutants. Well, you know I really should try capture them. I can't. Yeah, this is safe. I can go try capture them. So, okay, you're actually pretty difficult to try capture because you are your health is too low. But the other guy's easy. So let's move you up. You're not overwatching. Go. Cool. Side panic you. Come on, Ned. Don't screw this up. Good, and hopefully he runs away slightly so I can... Okay, he doesn't run away. In that case, how do I flame you without killing him? And without activating outside, let's try this position. On my way. Good, and activate outsiders. And let's try to flame just you. This might burn a little. Good, he panicked too. Let's try to get two million captives. Okay, you are moving that way, cool. Okay, where's my engineer? Rainbow, let's go. We have a job to do. Already there. No, you're not. Don't lie to me. You're on your way there. Yes, I know, technicalities. Sometimes I want to be picky. You can't stop me. I'm the commander. You have to listen to me. Always make you feel sorry for the troops sometimes, doesn't it? Okay, let's pistol this guy. Yeah, that's capture range. Cool. Umbok, just dash you up. And Ricky, let's dash you up here. Okay. And I think, didn't I walk through this mine on the way here? So yeah, I don't think you can actually own mine. But I suppose if something sent that mine off, I'm going to get hit by it. So I guess that's how mines work. I guess. I'm on it, Commander. Let's move you here, and let's try capture Senior Muton. Say good. good. Target incapacitated. And good. Okay, we'll try capture you next turn. For now, though, let's reduce his health a teeny bit. I believe somebody asked me why I don't give my operatives better pistols, spare sidearms. Because it comes in handy. And because, how many times have we actually used sidearms as an offensive weapon and be- Like, literally. Oh my god, you did 4 damage on crit. What the hell, Ricky? With that crit, you would've killed him. Ricky? Why are you doing so much damage? Uh, okay, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, simply, I can count a number of times sidearms have come in handy on one hand. And yeah, sure, a few times it would have actually been useful in combat. Like, imagine if I laser pistols during uh, episode 120 something. You know, that one that crashed medium, where I triggered the command pod uh, along with that huge pod of Mihoi elites and heavy floaters. Yeah, sure, it will come in handy there as well, but for most part, it isn't that useful most of the time, so it's simply not worth the resources, I reckon. Anyway, good, two be captives. Okay, and now, we'll have to work towards dealing with outsiders. I say a good start is this. This is probably a good start. I love this too much. Seriously, this is best. I love this um, the jet boot, the jet boot shoot. 
Mobility suit, whatever. It's so much fun. Okay, Archie, go check out over here. Or at least, where's my engineer? Oh, he just moved, didn't he? Okay, you know what? Screw it. Just chuck a scanner in there. I need to get precise locations of those uh, sectoid command. No, outsiders. You can kind of see them, but I want to get precise locations. Can you please chuck a decent scan into the room? Is that too much to ask for? Eyes open. You can try to get one capture. We'll see. Okay, they're definitely both inside. Just want to double check. Uh, oh, you're big. I'll try to save you first. But that's not quite yet. Let's move you here. Heading there now. And where is my sniper? Here you are. I should be able to see you from, say, here. Cool. Disable. Okay, just out of range for the big guy. That's fine. We don't need cover if we kill them. Although I do want to capture at least one of them if I can. Not that I really need captain, uh, captives at this point. On the it's always nice to have, but I don't need it. It's more money. This stuff is heavy, ah, stop complaining. Jeez. Every single time. Every single time you complain. Okay. And city. Ooh. Okay, you're ready. Um, scout, 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 scout. There you are. Get your real gun out. Let's dash you over here. Cool. Now you move here. Disable you, disable you. Wow, 89%. That's horrendously low. Anyway, city. Now it's 100%. Genius. Heading there now. And we'll see more of a genius. That's affirmative. Let's steady you two over here. Do run. Let's move you around this way so we can. I'm ready to go. Ooh, better be careful here. There now. Okay, I'm going to use this wall to my advantage. Uh, let's be careful though. Let's be very careful. This should be safe. Heading to that location. Cool. Moving to position. Cool. Uh, you, I want you to get a better angle. And Durand, I'm not gonna risk you. I feel, Commander. I feel, Commander. Cool. Okay, scout. Scout. We're getting you nice and close. They won't even know you're there. I would not even suspect you're there. You do not exist, you're not real. Let's move you here. So close. You can almost feel your the bre breathing. The breath. I'm saying so much nonsense right now. So much nonsense. Go. Cool. We should be able to get good sound on them. Good. So, where's my sniper? City. And. Where is my rocket here? Yeah, that'll do. Cool, you guys are pretty much ready. So let's just move you over oh, here. Way. And Umbok can stay there. Roger you can stay there. You can stay there. And... Let's just put a mine right here. Let me run out. Because <laughs> it's fun. Cause it's fun. Okay, go time. Let's disable. Senior big outsider. Probably a captain again. Good. Now, where do you go? Boom. Okay, reveal my scout. I don't like that. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna try to capture the big guy. So, let's do that. Tokyo. That mine did basically no damage at all. Seriously, four damage. What is this? Play school? That on the hand did pretty good damage. Good. Not a problem anymore. Still, I, I don't know, it's just fun. Position Mines are fun. Let's move you down here. Just shock them in the face. For <laughs> literally no damage. 
Thanks, game. Okay, everyone else, let's dash up. Let's dash all the way up. Rainbow, let's dash you to here. Boom bark, we need to be positioned to suppress him. This way, uh, once reloads, he still won't have CCS. Very important. Good. Good, good, good. Arbiter, let's move you here. Okay. We can possibly shred him, but I probably won't. And Duran, stash you up. You're the boss. Yes, I'm the boss. Thank you. Okay. This sure feels familiar. Let's go lower his health a little bit. Tokyo surely won't kill him, right? Surely you can't kill him with this. Yeah, decent. Decent. Unfortunately, lowering his health is very difficult now. So, screw it. Or nothing. Or or nothing. Oh yeah, let's do this. Let's do this, boys. Let's go capture. Rainbow, you have two attempts. Do it. Oh yeah. 14. Ooh, a commander. I think that's higher than captain. I wonder what perks he had. I didn't even check. Anyway, let's go home. Three captures. Quite nice. Still, what I'm really worried about is the battleship. Look at that. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? I don't have a backup satellite right now. It's being built. It's not gonna be done for another 10 days. I'm so scared. Oh well. Hey Simone, congratulations. You, I'll deal with you later. Umbok, congratulations. You're gonna get Danger Zone. And the next perk, you get Mayhem. Okay, cool. Very nice captures. Very nice captures. Nothing destroyed. And we're back to this. Bye. Remember, oh, Doctor. Wait, you're not gonna shoot on my satellite? Ah, okay. We need to protect our satellites or we're going to lose cover. Well, up to you. If you don't want to shoot my satellite. We've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Yes, I know. Productions and progress are marked on the hollow globe. Oh my god, that scared me. Commander, we've just lost one of our Jesus. satellites. We will now be unable yes, to know. UFO contacts over that particular nation. Yep. And they've cut our funding as a result. It's Mexico, that's our home country. Yep, it's Mexico. You know it, it snows coming. We have a base coming soon. But regardless, this is first. Swarming too. Jesus, what kind of map is it? Sailman. Oh my god. Could be worse. Could be an urban uh, close quarters. Could be a lot, lot worse. We have plenty of troops again, so let me set up a squad and I'll get back to you. Okay, so this is Scorpio taking. Uh, things to note. Pretty standard. Two Master Sergeants, Twitchy, I Love Nox. This is a swarming abduction. I'm gonna take it seriously. So, two Master Sergeants, this and Twitchy. You know how some jobs they give you performance reviews, and some places they simply have a very, very almost machine like uh, performance reviews where they just simply say how many jobs you do or something. Well, Twitchy, look at this. I just checked this now, and oh my god. What the hell have you been up to, Twitchy? Almost 200 kills and 35 missions. And this is what happens, right? So this is like the employee of the month. Or hell, employee of the freaking year, okay? And we bring him, we bring in Twitchy's partner, Puppet 4. And we simply go, well, Puppet 4, look at this, okay? This is what Twitchy's been doing. Now you, this is what you have to match. Good luck. You have one month before you're fired. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding you. You still are best snipers, but still. What the hell, Twitchy? How did you get almost twice as many kills as Puppet 4 and the same number of missions? What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, beyond that, 
uh, like I said, pretty standard squad, one of every class, no assault, which is pretty normal these days. I'm taking the Pathfinder along because I think the Pathfinder will be able to take advantage of Thelmans the best. I could have brought on the Archer, but I'm not sure how much I want to trust the Archer by himself. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, this, if everything goes alright, it shouldn't be too bad. But that's always the case. So, not much more to say about it here. Let's just go down there and see uh, what the person brings to us. Ready? Let's go. Target site is near the German border. Oh no. Panic is spreading throughout a major city as the aliens move through the streets. We have to get a handle on this situation. Operation Swift here on this particular map. I don't know about you. This map is I got mixed feelings about this map. It's not a bad map, it's just it's I don't know, it's not that big, and it's a lot of low cover and it's really easy to get yourself into trouble on this map. But still, this is our next mission. I really hope you don't start at the back of that corner again like we always seem to. It's really weird. We started, what, like two or three times in that corner out of like four? I don't know. Still, Operation Swift here on this our next mission. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave me thoughts in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time for a swarming abduction. Until then, I'll see ya.